First in the spotlight tonight is Jack Ashton from Call the Midwife. His specialist subject, Ashes Cricket. <laughs> Next, the comedian Rich Horn. He'll be answering questions on Tennessee Williams. <laughs> Guy Mowbray, the match of the day commentator, takes as his subject the band Iron Maiden. And finally, the great cameras on British wildlife. Welcome to Celebrity Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, and four people who may be wondering why they volunteered to be here tonight. But one of them will become a Celebrity Mastermind, and that's an honour. They get a minute and a half of their specialist subject and then two minutes on general knowledge, all in the glare of the spotlight and all for charity. So let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Jack Ashton. Your chosen charity? Cystic Fibrosis Trust. And your chosen subject? The Ashes Cricket. In 90 seconds, starting now, who retired from Test Cricket at the end of the 2006-07 Ashes series after he took his 700th Test wicket? Shane Warne. Yep. Who made his Test debut at Lords in the 2005 Ashes series and was the top scorer in both of England's innings? Kevin Peterson. Yep. In 2009, England beat Australia in an Ashes Test at Lords for the first time since which year? 1934. Yes, in 2013, which English ground hosted an Ashes Test match for the first time? It was the fourth match in England's home series. A Durham. Yeah, Riverside. In the first test at Cardiff in 2009, how many deliveries did the last wicket partnership of Jimmy Anderson and Monty Panesar survive together to secure an improbable draw for England? 69. Yep. In the first test of the 2013 series at Trent Bridge, which teenage bowler who was making his test debut scored 98 runs off 101 balls, batting at number 11 in Australia's first innings? Ashton Agar. Yep. The first delivery of the 2006-07 series, bowled by Steve Harmison, was extremely wide and went straight into the hands of an England fielder standing in the slips. Who was the fielder? Andrew Flintoff. Yep. In 2015, who became the first English player since Ian Botham to be part of an Ashes winning team for a fifth time? Ian Bell. Yep. What's the name of the medal that is awarded to the player of the series in the Ashes? It was named after two great cricketers, one from each side, and was first awarded in 2005 to Andrew Flintoff. Compton Miller. Yes. In Mike Atherton. Final test match of the Oval in 2001, which Australian bowler dismissed him for a record 19th time? Glenn McGrath. Glenn McGrath is correct. No passes, you got them all right, Jack. Ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Hello, John. How are you, Rich? I'm good, thanks. I'll ask you for your name because that's what we do. Right. And your charity? Uh, Rich Hall, uh, Wildlife Trust. And your chosen subject? Uh, Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams, in 90 seconds. Here we go. What is the name of the faded Southern Belle who, alongside her crude brother-in-law, Stanley Kowalski, is the principal character in the 1947 play A Streetcar Named Desire? Blanche Dubois. Yep. What was the name of William's troubled sister to whom he was devoted? In his later years, he used his wealth to pay for her private care. Rose. Yep. Audrey Wood was William's friend and advisor. What role did she play in his professional career? She was his agent. Yep. In 1956, William's book entitled In the Winter of Cities was published. It was his first published work in what literary genre? Uh, short story. Poetry. What was the name of the magazine for which the 16-year-old Williams wrote a short horror story called The Vengeance of Nitocris? Pass. Williams reported that a touring production of the play Ghost that he saw in the mid-30s convinced him that his future lay in writing works for the theatre. Which Norwegian author wrote the play? Strindberg. In Ibsen. On which British interviewer's television show did he coyly discuss his homosexuality for the first time in 1970? David Frost. Yep. His first successful play, which had its Broadway premiere in March 1945, has strong autobiographical elements. What's it called? The Glass Menagerie. Yep. The first of the two novels written by Williams is a lightly veiled autobiography that was published in 1950. What's its title? 
The Roman Spring of Mrs. Stone. Yes, Williams won four awards from the drama critic circle. Which other prestigious literary prize did he win twice? First for A Streetcar Named Desire, then for Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. The Pulitzer. Yep. What was the name of the man with whom Williams shared his longest romantic attachment? They remained together for 14 years. Frank Marlowe. Is correct. You had one pass. The name of that magazine for which he wrote a short horror story was Weird Tales, and you have scored a rich eight points. And our next contender, please. <coughs> and your name? Guy Mowbray. Your chosen charity? Is the Sporting Memories Network. And your chosen subject? Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden in 90 seconds. Here we go. What is the name of the East London bassist and founder member of Iron Maiden who chose the band's name in the mid-70s because it just sounded right for the music? S Steve Harris. Yep. For which former Iron Maiden drummer did the band perform various benefit concerts after they learned that he had multiple cirrhosis? Clive Burr. Yep. What song did Iron Maiden refuse to mime when they made their debut on Top of the Pops in February 1980? Running free. Yes. What name was given to the Boeing 757 flown by Bruce Dickinson on the band's 2008 world tour after fans were asked to name the plane? Ed Force One. Yes. In which Italian city did Bruce Dickinson make his debut as the band's lead singer on the 26th of October 1981 during the Killer World Tour? Turin. No, Bologna. Which Iron Maiden single released in June 1983 inspired the name of a beer created by Robinson's Brewery and Bruce Dickinson? The Trooper. Yep. Which artist created the monstrous picture of the band's mascot Eddie on the cover of their 1980 debut album? Derek Riggs. Yes. What is the title of the band's first live album that was largely recorded at the Long Beach Arena, California, in March 85 during the World Slavery Tour? Live After Death. Correct. Which instrumental track on the band's second album, Killers, is named after a 13th century warrior? Genghis Khan. Yep. What is the name of the singer in the band Wolf Spain who replaced Bruce Dickinson as Iron Maiden's lead vocalist in 94? Blaze Bailey. Yes. What is the title of the band's 16th studio album released in September 2015? The Book of Souls. Correct. In which South American country was the band not allowed to appear in concert on the 23rd of July 1992 because of alleged satanic references in their music? Brazil. No. Chile. No. Close. You scored, though, Guy, no passes, and ten points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Pam Ayres. Your chosen charity? Is Oak and Furrows Wildlife Rescue Centre. And your chosen subject? British Wildlife. British Wildlife. Yes. Here we go, 90 seconds. The Golden Eagle is so called because the plumage on part of its body is a rich golden brown. Which part? The head. Yep. What is the smallest and most common bat native to Britain? The Pipistrelle. Yes, the pygmy is the smallest of three British species of a tiny animal that has a long pointed snout adorned with bristling whiskers. What animal? A shrew. Yes, what bees lay their eggs in the nest of bumblebees and sometimes kill the resident queen. The bumblebee workers then rear the young as their own. Mason. Nope, the cuckoo bees, or parasitic oh. bees. What were reintroduced into the wild initially on a trial basis in 2009 in the Knapdale Forest in Argyle after an absence of several hundred years? Mm, beavers. Yes. Which animals alert others of the species to their presence with scent marks that consist of droppings known as sprints? Otters. Yep. Which breed of ponies found on the uplands of North Devon and West Somerset has remained virtually unchanged since its Ice Age ancestors? Exmoor. Yep. Smooth, great crested, and palmate are the three British species of which amphibian? Newt. Yep. Which very rare snake found only on dry heathland gets its name because its scales are flat, unlike those of the viper and the grass snake that are ridged? The smooth snake. Yes, which creature from North America is thought to have been first released in the grounds of Henry Park in Cheshire in 1876? Its import has been an ecological disaster. The grey squirrel. Yeah. Which legless lizard is one of the three lizards native to Britain, along with the common lizard and the sand lizard? The slow worm. Yes. A controversial cull of badgers was introduced because they could supposedly transmit a disease to cows. What disease? TB. Yes, bovine tuberculosis. Pam... No passes, you've scored 11 points. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what a...
close round. Let's have a look at all of those scores. In fourth place, eight points. Rich, joint second place, ten points apiece. Jack and Guy, first place, 11 points. Pam. <laughs> so, the general knowledge round now, and if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. Let's get on with it and ask Rich to join us again, please. And, uh, I spotted that you're probably American, Rich. I don't know quite how that came across, but it did. Is there um, a gag or an approach that is absolutely guaranteed to work with a British audience and not with an American audience, or vice versa? Or is there a single gag that always works with both? No, not really, no, no. I have, I, I have jokes that can die on, on both sides of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done a, a, a joke that... You... It sounds like you're asking me to tell a joke. <laughs> Gosh, you got there ahead of me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is the time. You don't? Yeah. Well, you'll be penalised. I was going to give oh. you the easy questions, but now I'm going to have to... <laughs> the, uh... You can't hurt me any more than I already, you already have. Come I'm, on, I'm you're a couple place. of points behind. I'm in You've the got cellar. two minutes of general knowledge questions to prove that Americans are... I know, are but I can already tell they're going to be British uh, questions about... <laughs> I'm just going to say Jim Callahan to everything and hope I get it right. <laughs> All right, here we go then. You've All got right. two minutes of general okay. knowledge. And you have eight points, and you're very close to the leader. Here we go. H2O is the chemical formula for what liquid? Water. Yep. Hammerhead, basking and whale are all species of what fish? Sharks. Yep. Which art gallery was founded in 1824 after the House of Commons voted to buy 38 paintings for the nation from the banker John Julius Angerstein? State modern. National. Which American city has two professional Major League Baseball teams, the Yankees and the Mets? New York. Yep. What name for the strip on the side of a cine film on which the audio part of the film is recorded has come to be used generally for the film's music or dialogue? Pass. The Traverse, the Playhouse and the Festival are among the theatres in which Scottish city? Edinburgh. Yep. Which French former foreign minister was appointed by the European Commission to head the Brexit negotiations with Britain in July 2016? Pass. What common name is given to the membranes in the larynx whose vibrations produce speech and sound when air is passed over them? Pass. In bingo calling, which number is traditionally referred to as clickety-click? Uh, 66. Yeah. What position did Tiberius hold from 14 AD after he succeeded his adoptive father, Augustus? He was only the second person to hold the position. Pass. Which member of a famous musical family had her first UK Top 40 hit with What Have You Done For Me Lately? It reached number three in 1986. Pass. What term for the Americas was first used around 1502 in a letter by Amerigo Vespucci? The Americas. The New World. What is the occupation of Oliver Mellor's Lady Chatterley's Lover in the novel by D.H. Lawrence? A shoe salesman. A gamekeeper. <laughs> the term Hellenic generally refers to the culture or language of what ancient civilization? I, 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 I'm sorry, can, I, can, you, can you repeat? Yeah, the term Hellenic generally refers to the culture or language of what ancient civilization? Greek. Yeah. Greece. The scale that is typically used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of soil is known by what two letters? The values go from 0 to 14. pH. Yeah, pH is correct. You have five passes. Janet Jackson was a member of that famous musical family. Tiberius was a Roman emperor. Vocal cords is the membranes oh. in the larynx and all that. Michel Barnier was the, uh, is the European commissioner that's heading up the negotiations. And the name for the strip on the side of the cine film, The Soundtrack. Oh, you right. have now, Rich, a total of 15 points. <laughs> and now, Jack. Again, please. And uh, you are the vicar. It's called the midwife. <laughs> the pretend vicar, yeah. Yeah. Curate still. Curate. Oh, you're just a curate. After five years. Oh, yeah. you haven't done very well then, have no, you? No, I'm terrible oh, at it. You're still a curate. Yeah. yeah. Is it, it's going to go on forever to call the midwife, isn't it? I mean, what is it about it? <sighs> I, I just think that obviously there's a lot of nostalgia out there. Um, it's a really interesting time period. Um, obviously, 
the, like it's very, very much about the birth of the NHS, um, going back to a period where people really went from having to literally pay for medicine to having it given to them for free. So it was a whole, it was a sea change in, in, in the polit political arena. And I think what's happening now uh, in, in the world, I think people are looking back to, to that time and kind of going like, what, what, why did they have it, you know, that it went very well in the 1960s, 1950s. Mm. And uh, it's yeah. all falling apart now. There's a kind of reassuring thing about it. There's a know? reassuring thing about it. And it's, it's a nice show, isn't it? And, you, you know, you get to see your characters every week and, you know... You ain't complaining. I'm anyway, not... you've got ten points and you now have the general knowledge round. Two minutes of questions. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Which duo had their only number one single in the UK in 1965 with I Got You, Babe? Sunny and Cher. Yep. The adjective solar refers to what heavenly body? Sun? Yep. The series of dynastic civil wars known as the Wars of the Roses was fought between the forces of the House of York and which other royal house? Lancaster. Yep. Which edible nut with a hard three-sided brown shell grows on trees that can only survive in the Amazonian rainforest because of their complex ecological requirements? Pass. What word for a heavy lorry comes from an incarnation of Krishna whose image is dragged through the streets in an annual festival in Puri in India? Arctic. Juggernaut. Which comic book hero made his first appearance in Action Comics in June 1938? Superman. Yes. Which Japanese dish whose name translates as sour consists of boiled rice flavoured with vinegar and served cold with a variety of vegetable, egg or raw seafood garnishes? Pass. What number is at the bottom of a standard dartboard opposite 20 at the top? Three. Yep. Imelda Staunton plays Martha and Conleth Hill plays George in a 2017 London revival of an Edward Albee play about marital strife. Which play? Pass. In 1888, while he was in Arles, Vincent van Gogh produced several famous still-life paintings of what flowers? Sunflowers. Yes. What is the name of the characteristic loose-draped outer garment that was worn by Roman citizens? Ah, pass. How is the Italian landmark, known locally as La Torre Pendente di Pisa, known in English? Lina Tower Pisa. Yes. Which actress won a Golden Globe and was nominated for both an Oscar and a BAFTA for her role in Almost Famous? She's the daughter of Goldie Hawn. Ah, uh, man. Uh, Kate Hudson. Yes. The Queen officially opened a new road bridge across a body of water in September 2017, 53 years to the day that she opened its predecessor. What body of water? Thames. Fourth, which media mogul has children called Prudence, Elizabeth, James, Lachlan, Grace and Chloe, born between 1958 and 2003? Murdoch. Yep. Which television scriptwriter whose works include The Live of Birds, Butterflies and Bread died in May 2016? <sighs> you so know that, don't you? I do, but I don't. Now, I have to put you out of your misery. Yeah, Carla Lane. Mm. All right. Your other pass is... The name of the uh, loose draped outer garment. You'll be crossed with this one as well. Toga. Toga. Yeah. Uh, the play Imelda Staunton was in, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Yes. That uh, Japanese dish that sounds horrible when you sushi. spell it out, as it were. Sushi. Yeah. And those nuts in, grown in uh, Brazil are Brazil nuts. Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you've got 19 points. Thank you. Guy again, please. And uh, football, I was going to say, football is your trade. It's probably your life as well. Really, Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Dominates everything. So let's, let's do a bit of nostalgia. Mm. It's not like it was, is it? It's Nothing is. No, it's not. And, and I, I do prefer it in the old days. Did you? I know I shouldn't say that. I'm sounding very old and decrepit. But I, I, I much prefer the 80s and the 70s. When it was a bit raw. What do you mean a little bit raw? too clean and sanitised now. Ah. Oh, I pitch, thought you were going to sound off about things like the amount of money involved. And, and that as well, yeah, absolutely. But money ruins everything. And it's done that with football, undoubtedly. But you can't change the actual game. The game, in, this, in essence, from first whistle to last, is still the same. And that's the bit that I like. Well, even if players are falling over all the time? Part and... of the theatre, John. <laughs> really? I've got to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like it, really. All right, you've got uh, 10 points already, Guy. The score to beat is 19. So mm. let's see if you can do it in two minutes. Starting now, how many disciplines are there in a triathlon? 
Three. Yep. The name of what large extinct flightless bird that lived in Mauritius is said to come from the Portuguese for fool or crazy? Dodo. Yep. Followers of which religion abstain from food and drink from sunrise to sunset during the holy month of Ramadan? Islam. Yep. What word derived ultimately from the Latin for vessel is used for a container for cut flowers? Vase. Yep. Alfred Bird, who was born in Birmingham in 1811, invented a product because his wife was allergic to eggs. What product? Bass. On which stage musical premiered in 1986 did Tim Rice collaborate with the male members of ABBA? Oh, uh, Dancing Queen. Chess. In which sea are the groups of islands known as the Greater and Lesser Antilles? Pass. Chuck is a familiar form, especially in North America, of what male forename? Charles. Yep. The Battle of Spy and Cop, fought in January 1900, was one of the bloodiest of which war? Boer War. Yeah, the Second Boer War. A 15-year-old from Swindon reached number one in the UK charts in July 1998 with her debut single, Because We Want To. Who is she? Billy. Yeah, Billy Piper. In which 2017 film, directed by Christopher Nolan, does Mark Rylance play the captain of one of the small boats that took part in the evacuation of Allied soldiers Pass. from northern France Pass. in 1940? Pass. What alternative name for a wizard comes from the Old English for an oath-breaker or liar? Soothsayer. Warlock. In which Italian city is Shakespeare's play Romeo and Juliet principally set? Verona. Yes. What name was given to the once notorious former Docklands area of Cardiff that's now gentrified? It's the birthplace of the singer Shirley Bassey. Tiger Bay. Yep. Which stamp dealer first began his business in 1856 at a desk in his father's pharmacy shop in Plymouth where he worked as an assistant? Francis Drake. Stanley Gibbons. Who was the King of France while the Palace of Versailles was transformed from a hunting lodge to an immense and extravagant complex surrounded by stylized gardens? Louis XIV. Yes, what 2004 film sequel with Julie Andrews as Queen Clarice of Genovia and Anne Hathaway as Mia Thermopolis is subtitled Royal Engagement? The Princess Bride. Oh, nearly. The Princess Diaries. Oh. Very close. Um, you had three passes. Dunkirk. I've was, got, yeah. As soon as I heard film, I gave up. Ah, I noticed that. Yeah. Anyway, Dunkirk, very famous film, as you know. Um, the uh, Greater and Lesser Antilles are in the Caribbean Sea, and Alfred Bird invented custard powder. Oh, Bird's custard powder. Yeah, I know. Anyway, Guy, you've got 20 points. Pam, again, please. And um, we all have the impression, rightly or wrongly, Pam, that you can write poetry about anything. <laughs> Give you a subject and you'll write a poem I about it. I don't think that's true, really, John. You don't? No, it's got to be something that catches my imagination that I think I can get a bit of mischief out of. Ah. Yeah. So there has to be a bit of mischief. Yes. Right. So, have you considered writing one for us? Yes, I have. I'll try and remember it, otherwise I've got it tucked down my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> well. It goes, Here on Mastermind I sit upon the fabled chair. I have to ask myself exactly what I'm doing there. John Humphreys I will boldly face with grit and fortitude, for all that lovely cash will buy a lot of hedgehog food. <laughs> 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 you managed to encapsulate so much in a few lines. Oh, I mean, thank you. It's a great but... challenge to be succinct, if right. I can. Yeah. Now, you've got 11 points yes. and you've got to beat 20 to win this yeah. coveted title. Here we go. <laughs> the name of what tinned meat is given to unsolicited electronic junk mail? Spam. Yes. Which English queen famously said that she had the body of a weak and feeble woman but the heart and stomach of a king? Elizabeth I? Yes, what name's given to the soft-bodied, legless grub of various insects, such as the housefly, they're typically found in decaying organic matter? Larvae? Maggot. Maggot. Which political doctrine, first advanced by Karl Marx, seeks to replace private property and a profit-based economy with public ownership? Communism? Yes, who was the lead singer with the vocal group The Supremes before she embarked on a successful solo and film career? Dionne Warwick. Diana Ross. In Greek mythology, the spots on the tail of a particular bird are the 100 eyes of the all-seeing giant Argus. What bird? Um, eagle. The peacock. The Narnia window was designed and made by Sally Scott and installed in Holy Trinity Church near Oxford in 1991 next to the pew where a writer habitually sat. Which writer? C.S. Lewis. Yes. Which pre-decimalisation coin was known as a tanner? Sixpence. Yeah. What is the traditional name given to a group or gathering of 13 witches? A 
A coven. A coven. A coven. Yeah, what kind of prize-winning animal is Lord Emsworth's beloved Empress of Blandings in the novels by P.G. Woodhouse? Uh, she's a pig. Yeah. Which television comedy threesome consisted of Graham Garden, Bill Oddy and Tim Brooke Taylor? The goodies. Yep. What disease transmitted to humans in the bite of a species of mosquito takes its name from the Italian for bad air? Um, malaria? Yes. In April 1792, Nicolas Jacques Pelletier became the first person to be executed in Paris by what means? A guillotine. Yes. Which classic 1960 western was based on the Japanese film The Seven Samurai? Pass. In which 2016 stage musical does Michael Crawford play the older Leo Colston in an adaptation of L.P. Hartley's classic novel? Oh, um, I don't know. Pass. The murder of a European Archduke by Gavrilo Princip in June 1914 was a contributing factor to the outbreak of the First World War. Who did he kill? Hans Joseph. Franz no, Joseph. It was actually Franz Ferdinand, the okay, Archduke. Fine. But yeah, there we go. Um, two passes. The Go Between was that um, oh, film of music. Oh, I love I, that book. I know, great one. And um, it was The Magnificent Seven that was based oh, on The Seven Samurai. However, Pam, you did it. 21 points. Oh, gee. So oh, it's stayed close to the end. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place with 15 points, Rich. In third place with 19 points, Jack. In second place with 20 points, Guy. In first place with 21 points, Pam. <laughs> Pam. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> And Thank you. you're, you're now going to have to write a poem about this, aren't you? I will. I really will. You're yes. not working on it already? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I'm stunned, so you'll have to give me a little while. Well, you don't have to be a poet or a celebrity to take part in the regular Mastermind programme. If you'd like to appear in the next series on BBC Two, visit us online at bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz and do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>